How to follow a low residue diet. You may be instructed to follow a low residue diet if you're transitioning from a liquid diet to a solid diet, for certain medical conditions that affect the bowels, or before some surgeries or cancer treatments. The low residue diet avoids fiber and includes foods that are soft and easy to digest. The purpose of the diet is to minimize how much bulk moves through your intestines for a period of time. To follow a low residue diet, temporarily avoid specific foods and alter how you prepare others. Cooking appropriate main courses. Tenderize your meat. You can eat meat as long as it's cooked so that it's tender. Try baking, broiling, roasting, stewing, or creaming your meat. Lean roasted pork is acceptable, too. Try fish and other seafood. You can have it fresh, canned, or frozen. Do not eat fried or pickled meat. Avoid fatty, fibrous meats that have lots of gristle. Choose tofu as an appropriate alternative to meat. Soy tempeh, however, is not approved on this diet. If you have dentures, substitute ground meat for whole meat. Do not eat fried or pickled meat. Avoid fatty, fibrous meats that have lots of gristle. Choose tofu as an appropriate alternative to meat. Soy tempeh, however, is not approved on this diet. If you have dentures, substitute ground meat for whole meat. Choose plain bread and grains. Stay away from bread or crackers that contain seeds, nuts, raisins, or spices. When choosing cereal, pick, refined, cooked and prepared cereals over whole grain options. Do not opt for bran cereals, however, which can increase bowel activity. Avoid barley and lentils, able equals, link to reference 8, greater than don't put jam or marmalade on your bread, jelly is okay if it doesn't contain seeds, white rice, pasta, noodles, and potatoes without skin are all okay to eat on the low residue diet. You can also enjoy waffles, French toast, and pancakes. When dining out, express your diet needs to your server. Be sure to inquire whether the dish contains nuts or seeds. Cook your vegetables. Vegetable juice and raw lettuce are okay to eat on the low-residue diet. However, cook other vegetables until they're soft. You can also purchase canned vegetables. Your veggies should be tender and soft before you eat them. Some great options include cooked spinach, beets, green beans, carrots, peeled eggplant, mushrooms, green and red peppers not spicy ones, and peeled squash and zucchini. Stay away from pickles, sauerkraut, and other fermented foods. Particularly avoid peas, winter squash, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, onions, cabbage, cauliflower, and baked beans. Stay away from lima beans and corn, even from cans. Stay away from pickles, sauerkraut, and other fermented foods. Particularly avoid peas, winter squash, broccoli, Brussels sprouts, onions, cabbage, cauliflower, and baked beans. Stay away from lima beans and corn, even from cans. Choose non-fried options. Stay away from fried foods. This includes the obvious like fried chicken, cheese, and vegetables, as well as items that are lightly fried in oil, like fried eggs. Eat your eggs baked, poached, scrambled, or boiled instead. Eat fat in moderation. Exclude fried food, high-fat gravy, and spicy salad dressing from your diet. On the other hand, it's okay to have small amounts of other fats. You can eat up to five servings a day of butter or margarine, mayonnaise, salad dressing, vegetable shortening, cooking oil, and cream. A serving sizes count as, 1 teaspoon margarine, or 2 teaspoons diet margarine, 1 teaspoon vegetable oil or olive oil, 1 teaspoon mayonnaise or 2 teaspoons light mayonnaise, 1 tablespoon salad dressing, 1 teaspoon margarine, or 2 teaspoons diet margarine, 1 teaspoon vegetable oil or olive oil, 1 teaspoon mayonnaise or 2 teaspoons light mayonnaise, 1 tablespoon salad dressing. Say no to spicy foods. Season your meals mildly, and avoid eating spicy or highly spiced foods. Salt and pepper are okay, but horseradish, raw garlic, and relish should be avoided. Don't eat spicy peppers or hot sauces.